Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this week I'm going to be making a reversible fuzzy coat for my mom's Christmas gift. This coat is super warm and cozy and it only took me 10 to 12 hours to make. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. I bought about four yards of light brown fleece fabric and about four yards of this brown plaid fleece fabric. I say about four yards because initially I asked for three, but ended up buying the remnants. The amount really depends on your size and how long you want your coat to be. I'm making a long coat for my mom. Try to find the softest, most fluffiest fleece fabric out there because you want it to be extra snuggly. The name of the one I got is called Wubby Fleece. The pattern for this is quite simple. With my fabric on fold, I laid a loose fitted cardigan down the center front on fold and we'll be tracing out the entire shape, turning the sleeves into fat wing sleeves so it's all one piece. I cut two of these pieces from the solid fabric and we'll cut two more pieces from the plaid fabric. So you should have a total of four full size pieces. Next, I cut one of the solid color pieces in half down the center front so that the front can open like a jacket. And I also cut one of the plaid pieces down the center front. Now you can lay each coat down so that the pieces are facing right sides together and sew along the top shoulder sleeve seam and the underarm sleeve and side seam. I'm sewing with my serger for this project because it's a lot faster and cleans up all the raw edges that are beginning to shed. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch or use the overlock stitch setting on your regular sewing machine. With the leftover fabric, I'll be adding a large hood. The shape of the batwing sleeves actually gave me a nice shape for the hood already, so all I had to do was cut the neckline. I cut the back neckline a little shorter and then extended the length towards the front because the front neckline of the coat is lower than the back. If you're unsure about the size or shape of the hood, you can lay out one of your hoodies to use as reference. Sew each hood along the top curve. Next, I trimmed the front neckline lower before attaching the hoods on. Then pin each hood right sides together along the neckline and sew it down. If it doesn't match up perfectly, that's okay. I just end up trimming anything that is sticking out later and make it work. I decided to add two plaid pockets on the solid color coat for a contrasting look. Just decide how big you want your pockets to be, search all the sides for a clean look, and top stitch them onto the coat with a zigzag stitch. Lastly, I can slide the plaid coat inside the solid color coat. Doesn't matter which one goes which since this is going to be a reversible coat. Just make sure that the wrong sides are facing each other and the right sides are on the outside. To attach the two together, I'm just going to keep it simple by serging both layers together along all the open sides. That means along the center front, around the hood, back down the other side, along the bottom of the coat, and serge the bottom of the sleeves together. And I'm finished. Time to wrap it up and gift it to my mom. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow. And it is cold.
very simple to make. I think the hardest part was just shoving those thick layers underneath the sewing machine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion. And I'll see you guys next time.